Hello, I'm Flyguy23NDM, and I'll be showing you how to use my plugin, Player Count Message. Player Count Message is a plugin for Minecraft. It works on these platforms Bucket, Spigot, and Bungie Cord. So we'll get right down to installing it. So once you get to this page, you click on this link. I know this is a zip file, do not worry. So once you have this, put it on your desktop or wherever your server is. Extract it. You have extracted it. You can look inside and you will see four different files. If you run a spigot or bucket server, you will want one of these two jar files. If you run a Bungie server, you want one of these two. Bungie have Bungie in the name. So you might be at, so we'll start out with the bucket one. So to do this, you need your server. What you'll need is a copy of Craft Bucket, Spigot, whichever version of these jar files that you need. So I right now have it set up for Craft Bucket. It is identical for Craft Bucket and Spigot. I will get to how to run this for Bungie Cord shortly, but let's run this for Craft Bucket. So blah 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 blah, server's booting up, I'm going to pause it now and then resume the recording once the server is loaded. Okay, the server is back up and we have our nifty plugins folder. So, additionally, to run this plugin for Bucket, and or Spigot, you will need a plugin called protocol lib. So this version of protocol lib may not work. If it doesn't work, you can use the development builds. We'll just default to one of these development builds for now. Once you have downloaded protocol lib and have whichever version of the plugin you'll need, you should put them in your plugins folder for your server. So how do you decide which one of these versions you need? Over here they'll have JRE 1.7.0 whatever. Out of these two, if you have Java 8, use this one. If you have Java 7, use this one. If you're not sure, it's easy just to try one and if it doesn't work, use the other. I have Java 8, so I will use that. So once you've imported the two plugins, you should reload your server or stop it and have it reboot. Should only take a moment. So inside your plugins folder, you now have a file called player count message. If this happened and in the console you can type PCM help and get this message, it means you installed it correctly. Good job. How to set up this plugin for Bungie Cord. So what you have to do is you must first have a Bungie Cord server. So after your server is booted up, you can go into the plugins folder. And then same deal with choosing whichever version you want. If it's Java 7, use this one. Java 8, use this version. Put it in here. Now, in addition to needing my plugin, you will also need another library plugin but this time it is not protocol lib. Made it MOTD. So their plugin exists on Spigot. We use version 1.1.1. You all you have to do is download the jar, move it into your plugins folder, reboot the server. The server is started up, you can do the commands. It will work the same as the other versions of the plugin, although some of the effects of the plugin will not work. Now, some of these say this feature is not available for Bungie Cord. If it's not available for Bungie Cord, when you try to put it here, it will not work. And for specific tags, such as they say update in real time, those tags should not be put on an animated line you need through commands and we're going to quickly go over these commands 
So when you type slash PCM help, you can see these four commands right here. PCM play, MOTD, verse, IMG. And there's also reload and save, and there's a few more. So all the commands are covered in depth here. I will go over how to edit this for the player count, because that's where the plugin got its name. So if you do PCM play help, the, all these will also got spelled correctly. All of these will also work from in game. So these are the help commands for player count message or for setting editing the player list. So you see there's a bunch of op, bunch more options. Again, all these commands are covered in full on our website or on the website there will be a link so before changing anything let's look at what just installing this plugin will do for you so I right now have a Minecraft client open 1.8.3 this currently does not work for 1.8.4 Minecraft clients hopefully that will be fixed in a future update so this is the server see we have this default image of a chicken walking it welcomes us to the server shows players out of players, so on and so forth. And also, while the animation's running, it will say the server is out of date. Do not worry, as soon as the animation finishes, that will go away. And yes. So you do not need to reboot the server or change anything to have this update. And for right, or you just need to change it from the command, from commands. So to edit, say, these lines, you don't like what they are, you want to change them, you can do, set, or to view them, you can do PCM play view. And these will show, this command will show you the text of every line. If you wanted to add a new line, or if you wanted to, so these lines have four different aspects of them. An animation type, which is here, loops, interval, frame size oh yeah interval sorry I have animation loops interval and text you do view to view the text animation to view the animation loops to view the loops and enter to view the interval so if you do PCM play anim PCM play loops PCM play inner PCM. Okay, those are the four. So we can view the text here. These are all the different animations. None, scroll forward, scroll back, frames. These are the loops, 0, 0, 2, 1, negative 1, and intervals. These are all the intervals. The interval is the time in milliseconds between every frame. Loops are how many times it should loop before the animation completes for that line. And this is how it should animate the text. And these are fairly self-explanatory. If you set loops to negative one, it will loop in infinitely. So you can also do PCM play help two to view even more commands. This is how you change it. So seeing all these, let's say we wanted to add a six line. And we'll just call it line six. To add color, you can do an ampersand and then a color code and then say whatever color you want it to be. Yeah, whatever. And then you can also do formatting codes such as bold, obstructed, so on and so forth. Those are all on the Minecraft wiki. So we'll say added a line. So if you go PCM play view, it now has a line six. And if you go PCM play anim, it will show you the animation of that line. Right now the animation is none. In no. Loops will be set to one. An interval is set to 100 milliseconds. So to show you that this worked, we now have line six, colors and some weird obstructed text that no one can tell what it means. So that's that. Now if you want to change, say, more, or if you want to change the text of a line that already exists, you can do PCM play set 
whichever line number, we'll just con continue editing 6, and you say a value. There are different values you can edit, text, anim, animation, interval, and loops. They're all listed under the help commands and on the website, so don't worry if you missed one. They all take different parameters. Text would take text such as that. Animation takes an animation type. Now the different animation types are listed on the website. So these differ from depending on where you're editing it. And this video is getting very long. So here are all the different animations, scrolling forward, scrolling backwards, wrap forward, wrap back, frame by frame, and none. And these are all the different ways. So we'll just have it be scroll forward. So look, there it confirms you did it. And then you could set the interval. Let's just set it to a short number. And then if you want it to loop forever, you can set the loop count to negative one. Just to prove to you that this works, now text should be moving. But since there's a small amount of text, it's not. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, I set number five's loops. There we go. And you can see text is flying across the screen. As you can tell, the resolution of the animation is by default 100 milliseconds. You can change that with some commands, but don't worry about it. You won't want to do that. So that's how to edit it. It goes the same for all the other modes, except for image. So right now, I'll take the chance. So you have to save your config, otherwise it may be overwritten. So do PCM save to save. And if you wish to load from the config, you can do PCM reload. And stopping it will also save the configuration. So if you want to edit it from the config, you must close the server first. So let's say you have your epic image GIF file that you want to use. Well, you can open up server info or go through command. And under server icon, you can change this name to whatever you want. So I'm going to change it to epic image. If you wish to set a new image, it must be in this folder. So if you go back to the main, or if you go back to start up the server, after it boots up, you can see you now have epic image running. And it saved it from last time. If you wish to set the image from here, you can do PCM PCM image set name and you have to set the name of the image. And this must include the file extension. So if I wanted to set it back to the other one, I could do server icon dot gif. Now if, now when we look at this, oh that was the wrong button. Now if we look at this, it's back to the regular image. If you set it to a file that does not it exist, like asdif, or asdif, 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 dot gif, it will just go back to the regular image. This may seem weird, but if you go back to your folder, it will now have an image named that. So this is how you use player count message. Hopefully this works for you. Hopefully this will be enough. And I guess if you have any questions, you can leave a comment. There are many other things you can do, but they're explained in older videos and on the website. Thank you for watching. I'm out.